The Faculty of Engineering is one of the constituent faculties of the McGill University in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, offering undergraduate and graduate degrees in chemical, civil, computer, electrical, mechanical, bioengineering, materials and mining engineering, as well as the schools of architecture and urban planning. The faculty also teaches courses in bioresource engineering, faculty of agriculture, and in biomedical engineering, faculty of medicine at the master's level. Topic: History. Topic: 1855 to 1900. Dawson Lectures 1855 Thirty years before the construction of engineering's two original edifices, McGill had been offering lectures in applied sciences. This series of lectures was started in 1855 by William Dawson, a renowned geologist and McGill's fifth principal which was offered within the Faculty of Arts until the formation of the Department of Applied Sciences in 1871. Dawson accepted the offer, but he travelled to Britain first and while there delivered several papers at the annual meeting of the British Association for the Advancement of Science. Eventually, the lectures formed the core of a two-year curriculum leading to a diploma in civil engineering, first engineering buildings 1893, for the first time in the history of McGill, buildings are constructed specifically to house engineers. The imposing McDonald Engineering Building and the more modest Workman Technical Shops were both designed by architect Sir Andrew Taylor and his partner, William Gordon. Featuring a symmetrical Italian Renaissance facade and a Montreal limestone exterior, the five-story McDonald Building is equipped to meet every conceivable need. Among the facilities housed on its five floors are an apparatus museum, a library, a forge, a foundry, and a dynamo and engine room. Topic: 1900 to 1999. Fire of the McDonald Building and Rebuilding, 1907 to 1909. On April 5, 1907, the McDonald Engineering Building burns. Everything in it, except the contents of the ground floor laboratories, is destroyed. Fortunately, the fire doors that were built in the adjoining workman technical shops commonly referred to as the workman wing do their job, keeping the building intact and sparing it from significant damage. Less than a week earlier the old medical building had burned down. Some of the stone salvaged from this fire was used to add a fourth floor to the workmen shops. The faculty's sponsor, Sir William MacDonald, again stepped forward, this time volunteering to contribute to build a new structure on the foundation of its predecessor. Percy Nobbs, director of McGill's School of Architecture is asked to design and build the new structure. The university and McDonald both stressed to him the importance of function and fire resistance. The carved phoenix rising from the flames is one of the few ornaments on a building constructed specifically for fireproof functionality. Although the phoenix is easy to overlook, the McDonald Engineering Building is a mainstay on the east side of McGill's downtown campus. Faculty of Engineering launched 1931. The Faculty of Applied Science becomes the Faculty of Engineering in 1931. It offers two degrees, Bachelor of Engineering Beng, and Master of Engineering Meng. McGill also introduces a completely revised curriculum in chemical engineering, to be administered by the Department of Chemistry. Dawson College 1945. Dawson College was opened in 1945 to accommodate the greatly increased enrollment due to the return of students from the armed services and was housed at the RCAF base at St. Jean, Quebec. All first-year science and engineering students were transferred there. 
The number of students enrolled, mainly veterans, reached a peak of 1687 in January 1947. The college was closed in 1950. Dawson College was administered by a vice principal, Dawson College and by various other McGill staff members who undertook duties such as that of assistant bursar and secretary, first woman to graduate from engineering 1946. Mary Blair Jackson later Mary Fowler graduates from mechanical engineering, McGill's first woman engineering non-architecture graduate. She would go on to become a pilot officer at RCAF Training Command Headquarters in Trenton, Ontario, where she conducted statistical work connected with the training of ground crews. The J.W. McConnell Building is completed 1958. Named in honor of J.W. McConnell, a governor of the university from 1927 to 1958, the new four-story McConnell Engineering Building is officially dedicated by Chancellor Ray Edwin Powell on October 6, 1958. The new building doubles the faculty's space and provides much-needed facilities for graduate programs, Center for Intelligent Machines 1985, with a grant from the Quebec Ministère de l'Enseignement Supérieur et de la Science, four researchers, Martin Levin, Steve Zucker, Pierre Belanger, and George Zames Bang Engineering Physics 1954 form McCrissom, the McGill Research Center for Intelligent Machines, now known as the Center for Intelligent Machines, to study intelligent systems. CIM seeks to advance the state of knowledge in such domains as robotics, automation, artificial intelligence, computer vision, systems and control theory, and speech recognition. The M. H. Wong Building reaches completion 1997. The new M. H. Wong Building, the first new major academic construction on McGill's downtown campus in almost 20 years, is erected around the Foster Radiation Laboratory built in 1948. The building, which became the new home of the Departments of Chemical and Mining, Metals, and Materials Engineering cost close to $34 million, $12 million of which came from private donations. The largest of these was a gift of $8 million from the family and friends of the late man Hung Jimmy Wong Bark 1981. Another anonymous donor from Hong Kong contributed $1.9 million in honor of the late chemical engineering professor J.B. Phillips. Topic. 2000 present. Philanthropist Lorne Trottier makes transformative gift 2000. Quebec entrepreneur Lorne Trottier announced a gift of $5 million to help build a new information technology undergraduate teaching facility at McGill, estimated at a cost of $17 million. The government of Quebec announced that it will provide $7 million to complete the Lorne M. Trottier building, prompting Trottier to double his gift to $10 million. In 2003, the Lorne M. Trottier building opened in September. The building houses six floors of advanced teaching laboratories, interactive learning rooms and meeting spaces and is equipped with all of the latest high-tech equipment. School of Architecture receives landmark gift 2017. Through a gift from McGill alumnus Peter Guo Wa Fu, the School of Architecture is renamed the Peter Guo Wa Fu School of Architecture. His gift will support the full range of architecture education at McGill, creating new learning and research opportunities that will position the school and its students for a vibrant future. One portion of the gift will be used to create the Peter Guo Wa Fu Fellowships. These will be awarded, on the basis of academic merit, to graduate students entering or enrolled in the school. Preference will be given to citizens of China. Topic. Departments and schools Topic. 
Department of Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics The Department of Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics Est, 1871, offers programs at the undergraduate and graduate levels. The department currently has 22 full-time faculty members. In addition, the department enjoyed great relations with corporate partners and has many faculty lecturers, associate professors, and researchers working with students in the department. The Department of Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics has consistently ranked in the top 100 civil engineering schools worldwide and top 3 in Canada. There are approximately 400 undergraduate and 80 graduate students in the department, of whom over half are women and over one third are from outside Canada as of 2018. Broad programs of study are available that offer specialized courses in all areas of civil engineering. Facilities include state-of-the-art teaching, research, and computing laboratories. Topic. Department of Mining and Materials Engineering Established in 1871, the Mining Engineering Program is the oldest in Canada. It is the oldest program of its kind in North America. In the mid-1960s mining engineering at universities in Canada was suffering. Toronto closed its school, McGill had only one undergraduate student and its professor of mining was due to retire. In 1964 John Ross Bradfield, chairman of Noranda, was asked to form a committee to study and resolve the problem. The result was the raising of funds to help finance a chair of mining at McGill and to persuade Professor Frank T. M. White to come from the University of Queensland in Australia to take the position of chairman of the Department of Mining Engineering and Applied Geophysics. Professor White initiated a program that graduated a large cohort of postgraduate engineers, many of whom served to rebuild the educational capacity of mining throughout Canada. This, together with the contribution that he made in promoting mining education, resolved the crisis. Professor White died in 1971. McGill University and the Canadian Mineral Industry Education Foundation set up the FTM White Award to honour him for his outstanding contribution to mining education in Canada. Topic. Department of Chemical Engineering Over 100 years of chemical engineering at McGill has evolved through several distinct stages. The Chemical Engineering Curriculum, established at McGill in 1908, produced its first bachelor's degree graduate in 1911. Today, collectively, 17 members of the academic staff conduct research programs in almost all areas of modern chemical engineering, drawing upon theoretical, computational and experimental methodologies. Topic Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering ECE. The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering is located in McGill's downtown Montreal campus with a student body of 900 undergraduate students, 350 graduate students, 20 staff members and 40 faculty members. ECE offers four undergraduate degrees in the areas of electrical including honors, computer and software engineering, all accredited by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board CEAB. Graduate studies in ECE offer a wealth of opportunities for stimulating collaborations, multidisciplinary projects and industrially relevant innovation. Topic. Department of Bioengineering Established in 2012, the Department of Bioengineering is the newest department to join McGill University's Faculty of Engineering. 
McGill researchers from nearly all faculty units, including seven Canada research chairs and many colleagues in the faculties of medicine, science, and agriculture and environmental sciences are actively involved in various areas of bioengineering. Within the department, the faculty are focusing on three major directions, biological materials and mechanics, biomolecular and cellular engineering, and biomedical, diagnostics and high-throughput screening. Topic. Department of Mechanical Engineering The Department of Mechanical is located in McGill's main downtown Montreal campus and is one of the primary engineering departments. Mechanical engineering at McGill offers students an opportunity to spend their years of study alongside some of the best students and researchers from around the world. Students come from across Canada and beyond, while professors have studied at top-ranked universities worldwide. The department offers an honors program which is particularly suitable for those with a high aptitude in mathematics and physics and which gives a thorough grounding in the basic engineering sciences. <laughs> School of Urban Planning McGill was the first university in Canada to offer a full-time program in urban planning. An interdisciplinary program through which students combined a master's degree in their original field was combined with urban planning was established in 1947. An autonomous program was established in 1972. In 1976, the School of Urban Planning was established as a unit within the Faculty of Engineering. The school offers three Master of Urban Planning programs, a core program, with a concentration in transportation planning, and with a concentration in urban design, and a Ph.D. in urban planning, policy, and design program. Major research areas include the Community University Research Alliance, CURA, Transportation Research at McGill, TRAM, and Whole Corridor Urban Design Strategies, WCUDS. Topic: <laughs> Peter Guo Wafu School of Architecture. Founded in 1896, McGill School of Architecture is among the oldest architecture schools in North America, offering professional and post-professional programs from undergraduate through to Ph.D. levels. The school has established an international reputation and a record of producing leading professionals and researchers, with McGill alumni practicing and teaching in firms and institutions across the nation and the globe. It is housed in the McDonald Harrington Building, designed by Montreal architect Andrew Taylor. The School of Architecture has produced renowned architects, including Arthur Erickson, Moshe Safdie, Melvin Charney, Raymond Affleck, Catherine Wisnicki, Blanche Van Ginkel, Witold Rybczynski, and Raymond Moriyama, leading Montreal-based architects such as Howard Davies and Anne Cormier of Atelier Big City and Annie Label of In Situ, Julia Gerzovitz and Alain Fonier of EVOQ, Danny Pearl and Mark Padubik of Lerf as well as contemporary international architects such as Adam Caruso London, Amel Andraus Work Architecture, New York, Eric Bunge Narcitects, New York, and Todd Saunders Bergen, Norway. On 26 September 2017, the school was renamed the Peter Guo Wafu School of Architecture following a $12 million gift from Chinese architect and McGill graduate Peter Fu. Topic. Institutes Topic. Institute for the Public Life of Arts and Ideas IPLAI. 
IPLAI Institute for the Public Life of Arts and Ideas is a collaboration among six faculties across McGill, two schools and the McGill Libraries. IPLAI's mission is to connect interdisciplinary academic research with the public world of art, policy and culture. IPLAI creates bridges between academic thought and applied public practice to bring about a world rich in both intellectual and material resources for pleasure, for play, for moral fulfillment, and for the betterment of humanity. Topic. Trottier Institute for Sustainability in Engineering and Design TISED. TISED promotes bold and green ideas through education, outreach, and research, where we aim to connect our institution with the public for a greater understanding of sustainability issues in our society. Engineering, architecture and urban planning professionals play key roles through their involvement in everything from sustainable development and aerospace industry success, to manufacturing sector renewal, improving infrastructure, and our energy horizon. Topic. McGill Institute for Aerospace Engineering MIAE. MIAE is an initiative of the Lorne Trottier Chair in Aerospace Engineering to foster interest in aerospace engineering among undergraduate and graduate students and awareness of the multidisciplinary and multicultural environment in which they may work as future engineers working in the aerospace industry. Students accepted into the institute will be given the opportunity to participate in a number of 500 to 1,000 hours research projects proposed by the aerospace companies. Topic. McGill Institute for Advanced Materials MIAM. McGill Institute for Advanced Materials was established by the faculties of science and engineering to act as a focal point for research into all forms of advanced materials. Engineering innovation and materials creation have led to important developments in communications, information technology, transportation, clinical diagnosis and care, and energy generation, for example. New materials are considered by knowledge-based economies to be a precursor to many technological developments necessary for development and growth, and have been identified as one of Canada's strategic areas of research, and a priority area for McGill. Topic buildings and laboratories Topic. McDonald Building When the Arts Building was becoming overcrowded in the 1890s as enrollment climbed, new faculties were added to the university campus. The Applied Science Faculty, which was the term used for engineering at that time, relocated in 1893 to two new buildings. One was donated by Thomas Workman and the other by Sir William MacDonald, one of McGill's most generous benefactors. Topic. McDonald Harrington Building The McDonald Chemistry Building, recently renamed the McDonald Harrington Building after its first chemistry professor, Bernard Harrington, was built between 1896 and 1897 and was one of the many donations made to the university by Sir William MacDonald. Located in the McDonald Harrington Building are, Engineering Micro Computing Facilities, School of Architecture, School of Urban Planning. M. H. Wong Building This edifice, donated by Mr. Wong, an alumnus of McGill's School of Architecture, preserves the atmosphere of the campus both in its size and in its materials. 
It is composed of two sections, the older Foster section which consists of four stories, and a new wing north of Foster which adds another six stories to the whole. The Foster Wing, which will be used as offices, has had classrooms and labs added to both its west side and the top of the building, designated for metallurgical engineering labs. The new wing is used for chemical engineering labs. Topic. McConnell Engineering Building The McConnell Engineering Building was donated to McGill in 1959 by John W. McConnell, a major benefactor of the university since 1911 and one of its governors from 1928 until 1958. In the period after World War II when all of the engineering faculties were greatly expanding, this nine-story structure doubled the number of classrooms, lecture rooms, and offices available for use by the above faculties. Topic. Frank Dawson Adams Building The Physical Sciences Center was renamed the Frank Dawson Adams Building, after a professor of geology who was the first chairman of graduate studies, and also served as vice principal from 1920 to 1924. The building was completed in October 1951. Topic. Lauren M. Trottier Building The Lorne M. Trottier Building was inaugurated on March 26, 2004. This building is part of the Tech Square and will allow the university to expand its popular electrical engineering, computer science and telecommunications programs. <laughs> <laughs> Student life Topic. Engineering Undergraduate Society EUS. The Engineering Undergraduate Society is the coordinating body and voice of undergraduate students in the Faculty of Engineering. All students registered in the Faculty of Engineering automatically become members of the EUS. The EUS plays active roles in enhancing all aspects of student life in the faculty, including social events, sports, volunteerism, competitions and academics. Topic. Architecture Students Association ASA. Architecture Students Association ASA, is a non-profit student-run society within the School of Architecture. The society serves as an organizational body for student activities and affairs, a voice for students in academic and university issues at McGill, and a link between other schools of architecture across the country. Topic clubs, teams and associations promoting opportunities for women in engineering PO is a student-run, philanthropic group under the Engineering Undergraduate Society of McGill University. Our goals are to encourage the presence of women in engineering and to increase awareness about the amazing contributions women have made to engineering. National Society of Black Engineers NSBE, its mission is to increase the number of culturally responsible students who excel academically to also succeed professionally and thereby make a positive impact in the community. Our objectives are to stimulate and develop interest in engineering, sciences and business. Queer Engineer is an EUS club at McGill University that strives to provide a safe and welcoming environment for gender and sexual minorities, within both the Faculty of Engineering and McGill as whole. The National Organization for Business and Engineering NOBE, mission is to bring together individuals at corporate and academic institutions interested in both business and engineering and to integrate these fields into one practice.
Topic: Notable alumni. Topic: Engineers. Richard Birdsall Rogers, Bang, 1878, creator of the Peterborough lift lock. George Hodgson, Bang 1916, Canadian Olympic swimmer and first Canadian to win two Olympic gold medals. Val Fitch, Bang 48, DSC 87, American nuclear physicist and co-recipient of the 1980 Nobel Prize in Physics. Livio de Simone, Bang 57, chairman and CEO of 3M Corporation. Henry Mintzberg, Bang 61, acclaimed management thinker, author and iconoclast. Les Vadas, Bang 61, founding member of Intel Corporation. Jake Eberts, Bang 62, award-winning movie producer and film financier. Dr. Andy Benedek, Bang 66, founder and CEO of Xenon Environmental Inc. Dr. Taro Alepian, Bang 67, Executive Vice President of SNC Lavalin Group. Dr. Michael Avedesian, Bang 69, CEO of Magnola Corporation. Lorne Trottier, Bang 70, Meng 73, leading philanthropist and co-founder of Matrox Electronic Systems Limited. Dr. Axel Meisen, PhD, 70, President, Memorial University of Newfoundland. John Wills, Bang, 75, President, Plumbing Products Division of Masco Corporation, makers of Delta faucets. Dr. Peter Santrizos, Meng, 81, Founder of Pyrogenesis Inc. Dr. Nubar Afayan, Bang 83, founder and CEO of Applied Biosystems Inc. Julie Payette, Bang 86, DSC 03, former chief astronaut for the Canadian Space Agency and current Governor General of Canada. Greg Vance, Bang 87, vice president and partner at Procaps Limited. Laurent Levi, Bang 91, successful owner of Arex Manufacturing Corp. Modus Cabani, Bang 93, dancer and choreographer. Matt Collier, Meng 96, scat musician of Planet Smashers and founder of Stomp Records. Dr. Jeffrey Karp, Bang 99, inventor of Gecko Tape Hecham Ratnani, Bang 08, co-founder and chief operating officer of Frank and Oak. Topic: Architects. Arthur Erickson, Bark 50, renowned Canadian architect and urban planner. Moshe Safdi, March 61, Israeli Canadian architect, urban designer, educator, theorist, and author. Raymond Moriyama, March 57, notable Canadian architect of Japanese descent. Witold Rybczynski, March 72, Canadian American architect, professor, and writer.